Hello and welcome to this short webinar about Varnish Enterprise. If you're brand new to the Varnish world or you're a Varnish cash user looking for information about Varnish Enterprise, you're in the right place. This is a simple high level overview of what Varnish Enterprise does and some of the features it contains. When you do want to go into more depth and see all the different options for using Varnish Enterprise, please do visit our website or get in touch and have a discussion with one of our engineers. We also have a, a range of other webinars and guides available for helping you implement Varnish Enterprise effectively. So to begin, let's talk about the problems and challenges that Varnish Enterprise is trying to solve. What we're concerned with at Varnish Software is this, how to get content, whether it's live sports on TV or streaming video on demand or, or dynamic web content, or data via APIs to reach their audiences as fast as possible. And this while also handling unpredictable, potentially vast audience sizes in different locations and on different devices, while also protecting critical backend infrastructure from the effects of all this demand. So how do we take video, for example, and deliver it to the viewer as near to real time as possible, while millions more are also watching the video at the same time and requesting the same content. So we ask how we can satisfy audiences with fast, responsive web and streaming experiences at all times. And this is obviously an important thing for content providers to figure out because as we know, many viewers will give up streaming if content's taking too long to load. And they may even abandon the service altogether if they keep experiencing buffering issues. And in terms of web pages, an increase in bounce rate is quite dramatic when web page load times go from one to five seconds. So when revenue depends on fast content delivery to satisfy every user or viewer, it's really important to make sure your content delivery processes are high performance and resilient in all, in all conditions. So how does content delivery work? A naive approach or a simplistic way to do it would be to for clients to fetch content directly from the origin, the backend servers where the content is stored. Now, video packaging and content delivery from the origin is resource intensive. So the origin will likely be overloaded by a few clients and clients will experience heavy latency. This spells bad news and serious trouble for the content provider if their service falls over just when there's a lot of people who want to access that content. So to give a taste of what Varnish Enterprise does differently, we can see this diagram which shows how it solves the problem. In this instance, it's using a two-layered approach for both edge caching and origin protection. And what does this mean? Well, it's about both delivering content quickly and protecting origin servers. Varnish Enterprise acts as an origin shield, protecting the back end from being overloaded by too many requests for content, and actually deals with those requests itself. Well, the edge caching components move content much closer to the user, so it's much quicker to serve the content they request. What this means in practice is that Varnish Enterprise is essentially a powerful web cache and reverse proxy. It's a caching layer that sits between your web servers and your users, and it takes a copy of content passing through it the first time a user visits your web or streaming service. Future requests for the same content can be served by the cache instead of being sent from the web servers again which is why it reduces bandwidth requirements and server load while improving clients' response times. So the result is super fast content delivery that satisfies your end users, fewer backend resource needs, and a layer of protection for origin servers, meaning content providers can stay online and responsive while managing bandwidth costs. And it's also completely flexible and able to cache anything HTTP. So it's useful for a huge range of purposes, including web content, API calls, as well as a whole range of video streaming use cases. Varnish Enterprise is designed for extreme performance. So we're looking at sub millisecond response times, handling hundreds of thousands of requests a second, and being able to hit 150 gigabits per second throughput from a single off the shelf server. So it's certainly the highest performing technology out there for content delivery and certainly the most resource efficient. And if you're currently using Varnish Cache and you're curious about Varnish Enterprise, you can think of it as a whole other level of 
performance, really optimized for enterprises and able to handle content delivery tasks that Varnish Cache isn't designed for, so video streaming, custom CDN setups, and edge storage. It's providing the features and functionality and support that large businesses require when investing in any technology. So things like greater performance, more features, enhanced security, full-time support and short SLAs, professional services as well to help design and implement Varnish Enterprise in complex environments. And the team here are world leading experts in the caching and content delivery space, having been involved in Varnish since the very beginning really, and hands on for the whole range of deployments that we've been involved in across many different industries. So it's really catering to that need within larger organizations whose ability to deliver content quickly and reliably is crucial to their revenue and reputation. Now, Varnish Enterprise is the underlying technology that's actually packaged into three full solutions. And each one of these is optimized for a specific content delivery domain. So streaming server is for delivering live, OTT, VOD, and HD video. DIY CDN is for building custom CDNs using pre-built, pre-optimized components. Web and API acceleration is for delivering dynamic and personalized web content. And the feature sets and customizations in each of these solutions is to suit perfectly their particular use cases. And one incredibly useful aspect of Varnish, which we should mention, is Varnish configuration language. This is our domain-specific language that enables complete customization and control. It's the reason Varnish is so flexible. You can customize every aspect of it, push updates out in real time. Not to go into too much detail here, and there's lots more resources available on our website, but it allows you to move computation to the edge and define and specify policies with programmable edge logic. This greatly expands Varnish Enterprise's capabilities beyond the standard caching or reverse, pro reverse proxies that are out there. So it unlocks use cases like edge computing, web application firewalls, load balancing, DDoS prevention, integration points, authentication and authorization policy mechanisms, and HTTP routing. It's useful just to touch on the history of Varnish to see it's useful to touch on the history of Varnish to see how it began and how it's progressed over the years. So you can see that it originated in an open source project in 2005 before support, management and development of this project spun off into a dedicated company called Varnish Software, who later released a commercial offering, which is now known as Varnish Enterprise. And there are many good reasons for releasing a commercial variant of the Varnish technology. Most simply is that the wider content delivery market was crying out for a way to use Varnish for a wider variety of use cases. So new, new use cases appeared in the industry, new demands were there for content delivery. So things like streaming video live and on demand, and also being able to build custom CDNs. These use cases now have actually grown to be by far the largest proportion of internet traffic as well. Here are some of the organizations that use Varnish Enterprise for streaming, web acceleration, and custom CDN use cases. You'll see they are across the whole range of content providers and industries because every company at some level has some need to deliver content. And many rely on it for their revenue, so it's crucial for them to get it right. Now, rather than going through an exhaustive list of every feature within Varnish Enterprise, let's just take a look at some of the ways it solves the challenge of delivering content to large audiences at ultra high speed. Now, there are different ways it does this. Number one is the obvious. It's transferring more data faster. So a few features which can help that. One of them is in-process TLS, which adds native support for client-side TLS and TLS termination. And what this does is it, is it reduces the number of network hops because there's no separate TLS termination process, which means we're able to streamline the process and hit 150 gigabits per second from a single off-the-shelf server, which is easily the highest performing content delivery capability out there. And it's particularly of interest for people who are looking to future-proof their services because this is going to be the fastest for years to come. 
Another feature, Memory Governor, is a way to automatically scale the cache size. And this optimizes the cache with the result that it can increase the memory availability by a third, enabling you to cope with many more requests directly from the cache. Now, the best way to relieve pressure on origin servers is by not visiting them for content unless you absolutely have to. And to do this, you can, you can fetch content once and then keep it in the cache. So some of the features in Varnish Enterprise for doing this include request coalescing, which combines multiple requests for the same piece of content, say a video segment, and only visits origin servers once with a combined request. It's about protecting your origin servers while speeding up response times for users. Varnish also includes content prefetch, which acts predictively to preload the next anticipated object into the cache. You can imagine video on demand situations where this loads the next video segment into the cache so it's already there when the user needs it, significantly lowering latency. So we're being efficient at only visiting the origin servers when it's absolutely necessary. You reduce latency and protect your infrastructure from high demand. It's not affected by the audience size that you have, which is streaming simultaneously. And third, you can move content closer to the people who want it to significantly decrease latency. Now one important feature for this is the Varnish Massive Storage Engine, which provides multi-terabyte edge storage. So all your most popular content can be kept at the edge, ready for when it's requested. These can be very large objects for HD video on demand and so on, and the content can persist across restarts, which adds even more resilience. And Varnish High Availability broadcast requests across multiple nodes, making content available across your Varnish instances and it replicates content across potentially a global distribution of servers for massively increased resilience as well. So if you're looking for a full feature list, there's one available on our website, but hopefully this should give you a flavor of how Varnish Enterprise transfers, transfers more data, reduces the need to visit backend servers, and moves content closer to people. Now we can go into a little bit more detail about the Varnish setup quick, quickly. The, now we can go into a little bit more detail about the Varnish Enterprise setup quickly. So we saw our basic diagram here from earlier with two layers for edge caching and origin protection. Now we can add the other features in to complete the picture. So we have our standard Varnish instance here, the origin protection layer. And to, the, to this we can add the massive storage engine for keeping multi-terabyte datasets in cache. We can add high availability for replicating content across all of your Varnish instances. You can also add the edge layer for moving content closer to users and enabling edge side logic. We can add to this layer Hitch, which is a TLS terminator, but remember we also offer native in-process TLS too. And also this is where prefetch sits for predictively fetching content from the back end before it's requested. And there's a whole host of admin controls, statistics and tools as well that are available for controlling every part of every Varnish process that you're running. And this is the setup that many major streaming services, websites, and content distributors are using to benefit from the performance, resilience, and scalability that Varnish Enterprise is all about. So thank you for joining us for this high-level overview webinar about Varnish Enterprise. If you want to find out more about Varnish or download a copy of our brochure that goes into more detail about the topics discussed today, please do visit our website. You'll also be able to talk to an expert there and start free trials as well. And also check out some of the case studies to see what other Varnish users have to say. So thank you very much for joining us.